UGD coming at you with the Assault Weapons Band from the Diane Feinstein. Yeah, Senator Feinstein from the California. Woo, she's fired up, guys. And she released a uh, press packet, uh, public information for us, called Assault Weapons Band. Guys, just drink in those hot rods right on the front cover. You know, I saw this, and I knew immediately I'm going to enjoy this right here because there are some really, really fine weapons on the front. And I went in and read through this. Yeah, I've read through it a couple times. Mrs. UGD and I, we discussed it. So we're going to do this off the cuff, guys. This video may be terrible. It may be edited. But we're just going to kind of flip through here as a group. And we're going to learn together because you know what? Learning and sharing is caring, guys. I really believe that. First uh, page. Woo! He got a letter. Uh, look at that. She uses a blue Sharpie to sign things. She wants to first halt the sale, manufacture, and transfer. That's a big word right there. Uh, importation of 205 of the most commonly owned military style weapons that she thinks you should not own. Then second, she wants to go after those uh, big capacity magazines. Uh, yeah, that, that that over 10 rounds is ridiculous. We got to get rid of those. And she went to the most objective um, sources to back it up. Look at that. New York Times guys wrote a whole article about how awesome weapon bans are. Yeah, how that constitution gets in the way. I mean, there's there's page. Look at that. They even did a, a graph, guys. Look at that. They did a graph on that. Yeah, there's a second article from the New York Times. They had a little gun porn on the back here. Ooh, look at that, guys. Yeah, that uh, they're just picking on that MP5, guys. Then they even went to the Atlantic. Yeah, what better source than the Atlantic? They even show you that bullets do break shit when it hits you, guys. All right, so here's the weapon ban. This is where she's going right here. We're gonna we're gonna get this down here. Assault weapons ban, 205 weapons, specifically going after semi-automatic uh, rifles. But if you notice here, Smith & Wesson M&P uh, 15, that, that's, one of her, that's one of her top four right there. Bushmaster, AK-47, Street Sweeper. I have never seen a Street Sweeper in person other than the cat that drives by about mm, three times a year in my house. Uh, going after those 10-round magazines, semi-automatic shotguns with detachable mags or revolving cylinders or more than five rounds and at least one military feature. Yeah, I love the military feature. Pistol grip, military feature. So, then you got the bump and slide of fire stocks. You gotta get rid of those button bullets. Now, I don't know that what that is exactly. I thought that was a California thing to slow you down. You had to use a button to get your damn magazine out. You California cats, go ahead and comment down below. Thumb hole, hmm. Thumbhole, guys, remember the 94 band, whoo, Mac 90. You looked at it, you thought, God, that is so butt ugly. Those things now bring like 1,500, two grand. <laughs> we may be getting those back, who knows? Weapons uh, excluded from the bill. This is the one she gives us permission to own. All right, guys, there are, she has given us permission to own over 2,200 legitimate hunting and sporting rifles. And as you know, that, that, that Second Amendment does mention bears. So, you know, this is what we should have. We should not want anything else. There is no disconnect between us and Mrs. Feinstein. I think we are on the same page, guys. Requiring background checks to do any kind of transfer. And this is important. This only prohibits the assault weapons not yet manufactured. So we've got a grandfather clause here, uh, but these weapons are going to be out there, and they want to be able to control who has them, where they go. They want to control your private property, guys. And so that's very important there. So the Justice Department is going to estimate the loophole allows about 40% of these to be transferred. They think there's 18 to 35 million assault weapons out there, guys. So it's going to require a background check. The other thing is safeguarding existing weapons and magazines. This is really important right here. you got to stow it safely and secure your gun. Yeah, you got to keep it safe and secured and keep it away from criminals. Because once a criminal comes up to, say, a safe, they quit. They usually just go home and go, oh, hell bad night. Maybe I'm going to get some Netflix in. But I think this is the exact opposite. So once these guns are banned, and this one right here, yeah, the CX-4 Storm, that is specifically listed on the list, guys. That thing's going to go bonkers. It'll be a three, dollars $4,000 gun all of a sudden, because that's what happened in 94. All right, copycats. Here, here are some of our uh, characteristics. Pistol grips, forward grips, folding. Folding? Hold on a second, guys. ba ba Da, da, da. Look what we picked up. Bam! That is folding right there. Look at that. Pistol grip, folding, detachable mag, front grip. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that's folding brace, guys. <laughs> she, 
She is going to take that from us, guys. You can no longer have those around. Grenade launcher. Uh, I've run a 40 mic mic and a 38 mic mic, uh, but they were they were independent. They weren't stuck on anything. But apparently, you can stick those on uh, shotguns. Have you ever seen a grenade launcher on a shotgun? So those are gone. Then she starts putting in a little bit of gun porn for us, guys. Woo! Yeah, AR-15 slapped up with those 120 round mags. Those things are completely worthless, guys. I mean, they are heavy. They're uh, they're not reliable. I wouldn't have one of those if you gave it to me. Go to the back here. She's going to list out all the evil things that have happened with those guns. Never once does she mention the name, not one time, and on this whole thing, a name of the ass clown that did the killing. It's the gun's fault. That's part of the disconnect, guys. Here's some more examples. And you get into this reading, you get kind of excited here. Smith & Wesson M&P 15. Keep saying that. Keep saying that. So go a little bit more gun porn. Woo, look at that. Yep, yeah, Columbine. They were kind of broke, guys. They didn't, couldn't afford a nice gun. They went with a high point. And then here it is. Bam, look at that. Ram, here, here. Naughty gun. Naughty, naughty, naughty gun. All right, what else we got here, guys? I'm going to get into the specifics of the guns that they're going after. Right here, here's our list of all our guns they're going to go after, guys. 220 guns that she has decided we are incapable of, of, of owning. And, and there's a lot of great guns on here. There's a lot of fun guns on here. But you know what? These aren't sporting guns. These aren't hunting guns in her mind. And that's what the Second Amendment says. It specifically says you can only have guns to shoot rabbits. And damn it, we're taking the rest of them from you. And that M&P kept popping up. m and keep kept popping up. So I went out. I decided we better get me a new hot rod. I obviously got the charger here. Yeah, I'll give you another little, little looky-loo of that bad boy. Woo! Oh, yeah, that's going to be so much fun to run. Uh, I went and bought a hot rod. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, look at that. That looks evil. Oh, look at the evilness. Here's the problem. Palmetto State. Yeah, not your best, but guys, these are hard times to find hot rods. And then the other thing, look at that. It, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. It says DPMS caliber 22 long rifle, 1 in 16 twist. Yeah, guys, this is an old conversion. Even has one of the old Colt factory mags in it. And I'm feeling pretty salty. I got a couple of cool 22s. And Mrs. UGD, are you in the room, babe? Yeah. yeah hey, uh, so she goes, oh, yeah, whatever you can do, I can do a hell of a lot better. She goes over to rack her arms. Ba -da -da -da. Ah, Diane Feinstein, drink that in. Woo! Yeah, she picked up a brand new. And this is a big boy. This is 5.56 five, goodness. And, and Kevin over there at Riker, you shop on his website. He brings a couple out, and he has this one right here, and she's like, done and done. And then you got a little more excited, didn't you, babe? Well, yeah, that yeah, there was a, she had, he had a second one. Oh, bam, two, two in one day, guys. You know what they call that when you can go buy two AR-15s, Smith & Wesson M&P-15s? That is called freedom. And you know what, Diane Feinstein, if you don't like it, kiss my ass. Yeah.